What can team members do uh, to really wow their bosses today? Veterinary economics, I feel like we've, we've recommended this a million times, and First Line Magazine has recommended exactly the same thing. We've told practice owners who want to give raises to their team members that the best way to do that is to come up with a plan with that team member that has clear goals and also clear outcomes. So you're going to work on social media, and you're going to do this much work every week, and it's going to yield this many likes or this many leads or people calling the practice, or you're going to work on dental. You're going to learn about dental at the next CE conference and we're going to work together to develop um, a bigger, uh, uh, we're going to work together to work on compliance for dentals and we're going to get more dentals out of that and when I see more dentals on the bottom line on my balance sheet, then that's how you get a raise, that's how you get a promotion, that's how you get a bonus. Do, what, do we, what would you say uh, uh, to team members who say, you're putting all the onus on me to earn more? Well, that's part of it. I okay. think, you know, the pri it, it, you can't change somebody else's actions or behavior, but you can do something about your own, you know, situation. I think a lot of times we look for outside circumstances to change before we can feel like we can do anything, but really you have probably have more power and more control over your situation than you realize if you look for those opportunities. There's lots of things I think that if you really sit down and think about it, could yield great results. And I think Brendan's word passion is a big part of that. I mean, just just take the gumption. Do I mean, you do have to do it yourself if you're interested? Like Christy said, just say I'm passionate about this. Show this to vet the veterinarian. How can the veterinarian not be happy with that? And how can there not be a positive benefit? Uh, Portia, you've asked us a lot of questions, uh, but you're with First Line, and I feel like you know you're closer to the to the voice and the heart and the soul of the team members. So what I want to ask you is. How often do you think, for a lot of these team members that are struggling with low pay, how many of them do you think the answer is to quit and go find someplace else to work, whether it's in the veteran industry or out? I think if you don't love what you're doing every day, if you don't wake up and think this is great, and you don't love where you're working, my advice would be pick up, find that different practice, find the place where you can be passionate, where you want to get up in the morning, where you're excited, where you are and when you're sh in the shower in the morning, the ideas are coming so fast you cannot even, you know, get out of the shower fast enough to write them down and take them into the uh, into your practice. If you don't have that, then um, I, I I really think the next step is to, uh, you know, pull up the job listings, look for the next place, find the place that you think looks like a nice place to go, visit it, you know, go to the practice and. And, and see if it, you, you have to love who you work with, you have to love what you're doing, and if you can't say yes to that, then you know, you're, you're not in the right place. Thanks to you guys for sitting down with me this afternoon. It was a, a joy to talk about these uh, topics together, and I think uh, we really came out with a few ideas that team members can take home today and, and put to practice. And I would invite readers to tell us what you think. What, what steps are you taking today to really improve your pay, and uh, what works and what doesn't? Send us your questions to first line at advancedar.com.